Well, here we are, 11,600 miles on this 2022 Mahindra Rocks, or yeah, it's a base model. Some of you have been following my videos, some of you may be new to it. So it's a base model that I put a rally top on and rally top doors. Ended up doing a rough country two and a half inch leveling kit and some metric 33 inch tires. And I finally got the Bilsteins figured out. So I uh, have those on the way and gonna have those installed soon. I stopped here in the canyon because it's so windy out here. I was gonna show you some uh, different areas that I take the Mahindra through and talk about it a little bit. Uh, myself, I use this each and every day as a daily driver. I take it to work. And I come out here and play. So from my perspective, the pros of this are that you can really, really utilize it if, and I'm saying if, you're in an area that's conducive to it. And what I mean by that, if you're a farm and ranch, go buy one. Okay, you're going to work this thing and wonder how you ever live without it. If you live in an area that you have to trailer this to get it where you want to go, you're kind of going to be like, oh man, this is a lot of work. Wish I would have got something smaller. Because it'd be like hauling around a Jeep. Because no matter what they want to call it, it's the size of a CJ7. You know? And they sell it as a side-by-side -side because of uh, restrictions and complications and so on and so forth. But truly, it's like a CJ5, CJ7. Very utilitarian. The 2.5 liter turbo diesel, yeah, I went ahead and had uh, Vivid Racing put a tune on it and it's at about 120 horse up from the factory 62 and I recommend that for anyone who's buying one. Go get your tune put on, okay? Forget about everything else. Don't worry about the lift. Don't worry about looking cool. Get your tune. You can probably hear that wind pick up. Well, Hey guys, I want to thank you for watching. I want to ask you to hit the subscribe button, hit the share, hit the like. You know, I'm trying to bring you a little bit of stuff at a time from a real perspective of somebody who's using the rocks or on a daily basis. Um, I see a lot of beautiful machines out there. A lot of people putting a lot of love into them. If you're looking for a cheap, reliable form of either work utility vehicle or using it like myself as a fun form of uh, secondary trans. I use it every day, but you know, I have a car, my wife drives the car. I have a motorcycle that I forsake now ever since I got the rock, so I kind of fell more in love with the Mahindra. It's not more comfortable for this old veteran. But uh, you know, if you're thinking about one, do the research, make sure it's gonna work for you. Some of the negative things are that you will find more help from the community of other owners than you're going to find from the dealership. There's just something about the, from the assembly plant or from India to the assembly plant in Detroit to the dealer to the consumer that is a continual pain in the butt. <laughs> so I recommend finding <clears throat> your own people, excuse me, that can work on it, work on it yourself cross-reference as many things that you can to uh, U.S. parts. Um, you know, virtually you're sitting there on Dana 44 axles, so if the seals go bad, get something made here, okay, so you can run down to Napa and fix it. But I hope you had a good time checking out this little video, checking out some of the beautiful countryside here in Arizona. This is a virtually a wash. Climbed up a little hill to get here, a little hill. <laughs> and there are plenty more to climb. Well, I hope you enjoy this video. Be safe. Post comments. I try to answer everyone back, and I appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to, you know, watch what I put out. Just coming from a regular guy. Take care.